Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Senegal. And today it's a privilege to be invited to a family celebration for Eid with a family who is from the Sere tribe in Senegal. They're gonna be preparing some traditional food, an entire feast that's going to include fresh goat with couscous and then also an entire rice platter with the fresh goat stew. It's going to be an absolutely incredible Senegalese food experience and you're about to see the entire cooking process, the amazing culture, incredibly tasty food. Everything is coming up right now in this video. Pape, good morning. Good morning. Mark. Where are we at today? We are at Kabungai village down south Dakar and we're gonna do a homestay here today. A homestay, we experience how they're living in the villages and we are hosted by Musa, Musa Njai, the family name, yes. and Bubaka, his younger brother, and their family will receive us. And Great. we're going to experience how they are living in the villages. Welcome home. She's bien, bien, bien. Okay, Hello. <laughs> Hello. So his name Mamadou. Mamadou. Yes. Mamadou. And his name Salim. Oh. Nangadev. So it's a family, large family. Hello. Oh, so it's a true honor to be here today, surrounded by baobab trees, by mango trees. It's spectacular here. It's so beautiful, and we've been well received. Uh, the hospitality. I'm so excited to be here. After eight, so they stay with their family about one week. Ah, okay. So okay. Alassane, he's the elder of the family. So Musa is living here all permanently. Ah, but other other members, maybe they live in other cities. Yeah, they live in Dakar. They live in Dakar, and, and then Bubaka they returned the south. Yes, and they, they returned for this here. for the eight. for this time Eid uh -huh. period. Okay. Wow. And they ah, celebrate great. together. Great. So that's why you have so many kids here. They came with their kids. Ah, okay. And after okay. they will be back in their place where they're working. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. A goat. Yes. A goat will be for lunch? And the no, no, no. Yes. So because the Muslim is celebrating with a lamb and goat, so you're going to have this one. All right. Um, this is truly a special occasion, a celebration, and I'm extremely honored to be here. <laughs> the scenes you have committed in the year are dilated. Oh, so the blood goes into the into the like a small hole. Exactly. And it's like it, a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. So the goat process, they're just gonna part it out, but we are gonna move on to the kitchen because they're making a special breakfast for the family before lunch is starting to be cooked. So we're gonna go see that right now, which is a porridge. So this is millet flour? It's millet flour. They're gonna roll it. Oh, wow. And it will be small bowls. And wow. with this, we make the, the porridge. Wow. And so one of the main staples here is millet, and they grow millet around here. Add it in water and she's just kneading it, turning into like granules. I love that calabash. Huge. Local tribe. <laughs> so they have women here named Yinge. 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 <laughs> And this is such a skill because she's trying to balance the amount of water with the amount of flour to create perfectly even little, almost like little pebbles of millet. This takes extreme experience though. Okay, going into the kitchen. Okay, I think we're ready now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
boiling water and she takes those little millet pebbles and just sprinkles them and showers them into the boiling water. You can see it getting sticky and kind of like a pasty consistency. Oh, is it butter? Is it butter? Yes, yes. Butter? Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, and the, oh, and the raisins go in. Sweet porridge for breakfast. Sukar, sukar? Wow, sukar. That is a beautiful home cooked porridge. Oh, we'll be eating in the living room. Nice. Okay, like a yogurt. Fermented? Mika. Mika and a baby leha. Oh, you pour the yogurt on. Yes. Wow. That yogurt goes on to the top of the millet porridge. And now I think we're, we're ready to start eating. We're eating here in the, the living room. Yes, so you scoop it. You scoop it. And piece. then with some milk inside. Some, some milk for some of the porridge. And... All right. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. You feel those little pebbles that she made with her fingers, that texture. And yet at the same time, it has this pasty, like porridge consistency. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, it's really good. And that this texture. And this will be used when we have naming ceremony. Ah, oh, When okay. a baby born, eight days okay. after, when they give the name for breakfast, this is what we have. So this is a special breakfast? Special. Not, not a daily breakfast, this is? Some, some family do. Okay. Some family do. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, it's hearty, it's delicious. Not too sweet, but just so fresh. Mm. Wow. Oh. oh wow, with onions too. Oh, okay. Okay, next course is the liver, which it was grilled, sliced into pieces, and then served with a, like a bunch, equal parts ratio of onions, chopped onions mixed with a little bit of chili, a little bit of pepper, and vinegar. And you mix that up, that smells incredibly delicious. Course number two. So you go for liver plus some of the onions? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Mmm. Mmm. The liver's so tender. Oh, and so fresh. It's sweet. I mean, literally like 30 minutes fresh. That is incredibly tasty. Especially with those onions. There's a little bit of chili in there. And then also you taste the black pepper, the black pepper in there. The liver is the first thing eaten, like the honor, of the house and the special guests. So again, a major privilege, just truly special to be here. But after we eat this, then they'll be cooking the meat of the goat into the different dishes that we'll be having for lunch. Mm. Wow, that is incredible. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Very thank good. you. So good, amazing. We're moving back outside to start cooking lunch. Okay, fresh vegetables from the garden. There's some uh, radish, cabbage, carrots, spring onions. So these vegetables, will it be for a stew? 
for the stew and with for the, the goat meat. Yeah, with the goat meat. Okay, and that's to eat with the couscous. With the couscous. Oh yes. So this is millet. Yeah. Uh, steam. Uh, steam it mixed with baobab. Uh, ah, okay. So now it's already been mixed with baobab yeah. leaves, okay. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna steam it. Okay. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay, so the vegetables are being chopped, the goat ribs are being sliced, and she's moving over to start on the couscous. And couscous is totally different here than what you what I typically would think of as couscous, which is you'll find in North Africa. I believe here it is a mostly uh, millet flour which is then fermented overnight, mixed with the powdered leaves of the baobab trees, which you'll find all over baobab trees. And then she's kind of sifting it to make like a very coarse like uh, flour, and then that will be steamed. And so that's the couscous of Senegal. Adds just a little bit of water to create little granules. It almost looks like the texture of like sand, like a coarse sand. That's incredible. Oh, okay. She takes a, a wet cloth, all oh, that's going to seal in that steam, make it a little more airtight so it all gets locked up in there. Okay. So the steam will go down. And so some of the neighbors are starting to arrive for the celebration. Oh, okay. And outside the couscous is ready. Wow. Oh, what is this? Baobab. The fruit? Oh, the sap. Okay. Only the sap? The sap. Swallow. Ah, okay. And for the digestive. That's the glue. It's the sap of the baobab, which is made into this sticky glue like paste, which then gets added to the steamed couscous. And she has to really quickly stir it around, forming more of those sandy granules again. And that's going to make it easier to eat, easier to digest, easier to swallow. Back onto the steamer, that's going to steam again and keep on cooking. Okay, so we're moving back over to the kitchen and they're preparing to make a dish. Maybe the goat meat stew with the, with the fresh goat here in the kitchen. Dry chilies and pepper. So this is a bag of pepper. This is one of the main seasonings, one of the best things about Senegalese food. And along with pepper, one of the greatest things about Senegalese food, which we already had, the onions here are so vibrant, so fresh and juicy and crisp. They provide so much flavor. Senegal onions. <laughs> Very tasty. Very juicy. Yes. Mm 
She mixes that with the fresh goat meat into some oil, and that's gonna kind of stew and boil and fry all at the same time. The aroma is out of control. That pepper, those onions sizzling down. The recipes are complex and just full of flavor. Another incredible dish is the goat meat with rice. And what a technique, the goat is simmering on the bottom, and so the rice is going to steam with the steam from the goat. Oh, it's just gonna infuse with the aroma of the goat. And the cover goes on to seal in the steam. Okay. To seal all the flavor in and the steam. So garlic, pepper, and she's cutting up some peppers to go in there, another, another pounded mixture. Oh, and the green onions too, going in. And again, the onions are just non-stop in Senegal, flavor and juiciness that come out of those fresh onions straight from the garden. Again, pounded to release the full potential, the juices, the flavor of the onion. Look at that pepper paste. Dad, you don't need to put this in your mom. This is for the couscous, okay. I think so. So that marinated goat meat okay. gets tossed in some hot oil over the fire. That's gonna be for the couscous. And it has that full marinade on it with the onions, with chilies, and especially, yeah, that black pepper. We're gonna add it in here and cook together at the same flavor state inside. Okay. So next up for the goat stew, tomato paste goes in. Vegetables go in, the carrots, the radish, the cabbage. Smells unbelievable. That will simmer again for another 20 minutes. Oh, that's going in. Wow. just like never ending pepper and onion paste. That is a beautiful thing. Another layer of it goes in and it's just added in like various intervals throughout the cooking process. That is smelling unbelievable. And in the kitchen, the rice is ready. Wow, like a donut shape of rice.
with the goat simmering below. Oh, some more of the onion pepper paste goes in. Yes, flavor, so much flavor. In half an hour, 30 minutes, take off everything and then put the rice inside. Okay, so this boils again for 30 minutes? Yes. Okay. Okay, now I understand. The rice is still a little bit crispy. It's just half cooked because it was steamed. Once the goat finishes boiling with all that liquid that she added with all the pepper, all the onions, then the rice will go back into that water to boil to cook the rice. So the meat will be removed and then they'll be combined together. So that rice is gonna cook with all that flavor. What an unbelievable recipe. Rice goes back into that soup which has been boiling and it contains all the, the juices of the goat plus all of that onion pepper sauce. So all of the finishing touches, the decoration for the rice platter dish, so many things going in. I mean, we've got two completely separate dishes, different cooking methods, the different starch to go with. The, I mean, this is the rice and the couscous and it's just fascinating to see all of the preparation all of the ingredients that are going into this special meal. So this is to balance the rice. Okay. The to bring it up. Ah, okay. Oh, it's so fragrant. Unbelievably fragrant. In the meantime, as that cooks, the tea station is fully underway. He is mixing that tea. Wow, really stirring it up, really pouring it from cup to cup to get that foam, that froth, which is so important. Wow. Merci. It's good. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Mark, we don't hear you. <laughs> so you have to you have to slurp it very hard. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's incredible. Strong tea, extremely foamy, sweet. Wow, that's delicious. Very good. Très, très bon. Oh, is it? Some butter, okay. This is the juice of the stew? Okay. Oh, sugar. Oh. Carrots, beans, and raisins. Yeah, we're gonna eat it. Is this like 
So to complete that couscous, they take some of the goat oil from the stew and some of that broth, mix it with uh, a little bit of sugar, a sprinkle of sugar, plus raisins, plus carrots, plus the beans, and then rehydrate that couscous to again, create that kind of coarse texture uh, while mixing it in. Man, that smells incredible. The aroma, the onions. Wow. <laughs> it is ready. We're moving into the house to eat the couscous first. Wow, spectacular. Add some of the soup to the... It's spicy. Thank you. Oh, so hydrate it. It's a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper in there. Oh, it's so aromatic, so fragrant. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Micah, a little bit of soup. With the multiple layers of onions and pepper and chilies, this is, I have to say thank you. First of all, before we start, to Musa and his family for hosting us. Your hospitality is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Musa, go for some of the couscous. Off the, off the edge of the, the bowl. Couscous. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. The flavor is incredible. For you. <laughs> the tomato, the pepper, the onions. Oh, that's unbelievably flavorful. Oh, it's just almost has like a coarse, yeah, like a coarse, almost sandy texture to it, light and fluffy. And then we've got the goat meat here. You can again mix it with the, the couscous, kind of off the rim. So you have a nice bite of couscous mixed with the goat meat. Mmm. Oh, wow. Goat meat is tender. Oh, thank you. And some of that carrot. Wow, this is. Mm. And Mika, this is for you. You can hold it, bite it. Blown away yes. by the flavor. Oh, thank you. Thank you, some of the cassava, the yam. I'm blown away by the flavor. Those vegetables in there stewed in that tomato sauce. And it just like absorbs into that couscous. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah, I like it. You like it, Maya? Yeah. Mm. Mm. More of the juice. Yeah. Maya, you like the juice? Yeah. I can eat this every day. <laughs> <laughs> He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> you can pinch off pieces of the, of the goat. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm absolutely blown away. Mm. Mm. So much flavor and completely absorbed into the couscous. All of that sauce. All of the aroma of the goat flavor overdose. Kind of the method of eating is you put some into your, your fingertips and then you kind of flip it over into your mouth, sort of like. Yes. Is that the correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, that way you can get a whole, like, a whole, like, mouthful in one bite with sauce. Okay, I'm going for the bones. One inch. This is the goat drumstick. Mm. Wow, that is some extremely tasty goat. So natural, extremely fresh, 
amazing. Thank you. Next up for round two, this is the rice platter. They prepared it all while we were eating the couscous, but they layered in the rice, that goat on top, layered it with all those caramelized onions and carrots and more of that pepper sauce. Then there's pickles on there, there's the sliced egg, there's the tomatoes. Equally spectacular, the rice round. Again, that pepper, those onions, those caramelized onions. Oh, wow. The flavor just infused into the rice, all of that pepper, all the goat gravy and oil. It's so meaty and aromatic. And you eat it and then you can feel that pepper in the back of your throat. Mm. Like some of that neck meat, again, incredibly tender infused with layers of onion and pepper. Wow. Spectacular, incredible flavor. And the driver didn't want to eat couscous, he wanted rice. That's why he was waiting the rice. Oh, okay, mm. okay. <laughs> he said he ate so what's more, what's more popular, couscous or rice? Couscous is for the night, mm. and lunch is rice. Lunch is usually rice, mm. okay. Because the rice is just layered with pepper, pepper on top of pepper with the onions. It's like the flavor just keeps on giving. The more you eat, the more flavor just goes to the back of your throat. Oh. <laughs> it's mango season right now in Senegal. The trees are just blooming with mangoes. Freshly sliced mango. Nothing could be better for dessert after a meal like that. Yes. <laughs> oh, juicy, fresh, sweet. Mm. Mm. Now that is the greatest way to end your meal. Oh, sweet, juicy, syrupy. Man, that's delicious. Mm. Wow, just completely blown away by the hospitality, the welcome of Musa and his family, just their pouring out of showing us their lives and their culture something that we can all learn from. And I have to say that's a meal that I will never forget. I mean, everything from the breakfast to the couscous to the rice, the fresh goat meat and all of those spices and the pepper, absolutely an incredible meal. So thank you again to Musa and his family. Thank you to Papi for setting this up and arranging everything. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And then also there's gonna be a lot more food coming up from Senegal. We're traveling around Senegal. The food, the culture, the people are just absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to share more videos with you. Be sure to stay tuned. Keep on watching some more Senegalese food videos. And thank you again for watching. Goodbye from Senegal. And I will see you on the next video.